despite, you know, it's always interesting to see there's a there's a score lead, but there's always the positional lead, right? Yeah. And, you know, despite having the, uh, the score lead, you saw Eon dropping the first stock first because of the positional lead. That, yeah. you know, sometimes the stra strategic game is a little different than the tactical game, and he picked up the hit where he needed, and he has a lead, and he's building on it already. Yeah, you, it's, you can start strong, but if you can uh, position your hitbox and you really force your opponent in a bad spot, especially in the Fox Ditto, you can turn around really hard, especially because he combos himself pretty badly. Yeah, this matchup seems so volatile, so much damage being given, you know, so quickly. Right, yeah, he's getting light at the ledge, see if he can trap him here for a little bit. And there's the landing there. As soon as they get it, it's, oh, picked up an up smash. <laughs> Yeah, Eon uh, tried to extend his combo there, kind of flubbed it, and then as soon as he messed up, he got that super quick Nair up smash coming out from light. He's a light player, too, that you don't want to give any like free openings either, too, because he just goes so far on the punches. But Very really clean. Good, yeah, really good edge guard there, catching the illusion. Yeah, I think he kind of carried him off stage and put him off stage and said, by the way, let me finish it up, put an exclamation point on that combo and tie it up. But as soon as I got done describing what happened, yeah. he had uh, yeah, light, light putting on 80 damage, no problem. Was, uh, here's a rebuttal to your exclamation point. Here's two of my own. Yeah, it's mainly uh, since they both combo each other so hard. Like, who can push that hit the, the, <laughs> the farthest? A uh, little trouble right there. Light was scouting out for an up smash situation, but didn't get it. All right. Big damage here coming out from Eon. Nice. Not going to get shield poke by the landing down there. Oh, the parry's coming in. Really scary stuff. Tech chase? Oh, so scary. Yeah, he probably could have. If he was a little more oh. confident, probably could have followed it up. Oh, speaking oh. of confidence. Wow, we're talking about big plays. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Nice turnaround. I feel like if they stay the Fox Ditto, this is going to be one of those matches where they're just going to be going back and forth, back and forth. That's what people want to see. They just yeah. want to see a slugfest going back and forth. None of this waiting. Fox is going to drop the blast there, you know, and catch hands, go go in, and, you know, Aeon coming up on top on that match. Yeah, Aeon, very experienced in the Fox Ditto uh, due to having so many sets with Charlie. Even in this game, in yeah. the Fox Ditto and in the Larry as well. Right, that's kind of that might be one of the advantages because you know it's it's always the thing like when Light plays, there's not going to play a Fox that uh, you know on the same level as the ones that that uh, Aeon's going to be able to play against with yeah. Larry and Charlie being so close locally. You see, though, Light's an incredible player. Like he's done consistently so well in these tournaments, and uh, I even see him like maybe he has like a slow start, but he always like fights back really hard. Yeah, definitely. You kind of you kind of feel the the wheels turning in his head. The internet's downloading. And he's trying to get that that patch on what to fix, and he's got him. This is where he this is where he made his big gains last time. That's like repeat of the first game. Had Eon off stage, but Eon's able to survive that time. All right, a lot of pressure. Eon fights with Eric on stage with the landing there. Another one. See if he can capitalize here. He has him in a really rough spot. Ooh, but Fish is for that F smash. Maybe he was thinking a neutral get up was going to come out, but yeah. Light's going to punish it. And that kind of seems to be one of the uh, the shortcomings so far for Aeon in this match. Even the last game he got you know, caught trying to overextend a couple situations when he had the clear advantage, and that cost him stocks. If he's able to clean that up, Light's going to have a little bit of trouble trying to really put him away. Ooh. Gonna trade the back air there, not too bad. Again, the Fox does uh, rack up damage on himself really well, so, ooh, never mind. <laughs> no opportunity <laughs> to do anything. Light's really good at timing that down smash, either on the Illusion or the Firefox. Just thinking, what do people do to me in this situation? Oh, yeah, I get, I get uh, stuffed. <laughs> Fire, Firefox is not gonna cut it. <laughs> and already putting on, uh, putting on more percentage on this last stock, kind of running away with it. That's kind of the thing for the Fox that if you're able to keep yourself on the same stock as your opponent, you're not really ever out of it. It's just, you know, when you're fully behind and your opponent's starting to run away and put on all that chip damage, then it starts getting into your head just a little bit. Exactly. Just because one little hit, it leads to so much, as you can see. Really well, one good big hit. Up smash. <laughs> yeah. Very good and spacing. So went out, went back in, up smashed, and cleaned it up. And Light's able to take that game and... We're, we're sitting even here, coming into game three, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, really solid adjustment. They draw the first game, come back and get the two stock on like the same stage. Like, all right, I know I did wrong. I'm going to mm. fight back. And you're going to have to, you know, adapt if you want to take me out. Right. And it's going to be interesting to see. So we sit, you know, Aeon's going to be in that hard situation where, he, you know, he sometimes switches characters. 
but he also showed that he could win with it, and yeah. he's going to still roll it, you know, keep the hot hand going. Despite losing game two, he was like, I won game one with Fox. Let's throw what you know. Let's keep it going, and we're moving into game three. Winner of this makes their way into top eight. Yeah, that will be really big for Eon, too, a tournament like this. Right. And, of course, all SoCal behind their local hero. You, know, you kind of feel the energy in the building. They definitely want Eon to win it. Uh, needs to get off the ledge, and yeah. he's able to. <laughs> That's starting to look a little dangerous. <laughs> oh, this is trouble. And I'm not sure if that's just a, a spacing thing or if a mistiming on Light's part, but Eon's finally back on stage. And as soon as I say that, he's knocked right back off. Great parry. Yeah, I know it's uh, Light's super consistent at getting those, but okay, can we get the back air here? Is going to force the, no, save the jump? Yeah, he saved yeah. the jump for so long. Very good mix up. Yeah. I feel like you have to have like the mix-ups on your recovery when you're kind of like Fox, but the Nair up smash, classic Fox confirmed. Eon yeah. taking the first stock. Getting, giving uh, Light a little taste of his own medicine and what he's hit everybody else in the world with. Oh. Oh, oh, beautiful way to end that landing trap there. Just got caught in the classic Fox vortex, saw the air dodge come out and then punch super hard. Yeah, he started that up smash right around the time he entered the venue this morning. <laughs> uh, Light trying to restore some order is able to take that stock in. Uh, but of course, kind of like the reverse of the last game, you have Eon starting to run away with it just a little bit on this stock. Maybe yeah. the nerves getting to him a little bit because of the second down smash punish we've seen dropped. It's a two frame window though. It's not the easiest thing in the world, so don't get me wrong. But he seems pretty consistent at it. I don't know, he's gonna be pretty close. I thought he was gonna get down smashed again, but yeah. Eon right back. Oh, wow. Still living that up smash. Yeah, good DI. Ledge trumps here. Still, though, I feel like Eon's in a really good spot. He's spacing really safely, and he knows that he can still get a really early kill if he just gets that nair. Yeah, it's, it's like one nair confirm or one down air confirm away from being able to up smash. So he's right where he wants to be. Oh, nice. Oh, nice mix up. Really Holds strong. down as he passes the ledge and catches, uh, catches light, trying to punish his recovery. Oh. Perfect parry into the up smash. Calls out that back air a mile away. And that's a clean two stock going back with the two stock. <laughs> two stock on uh, PS2. I'm going to two stock you on Battlefield. What's up? That's some young gun reflexes right there. <laughs> like yeah, just real quick guys. parry. Just boom, up smash before you can even blink. Great just stuff. Great stuff, man. Going back and forth. Definitely what I expected from these two. And we're coming into game four. And that was a crucial game for... Eon to pick up because now he has counterfeit advantage coming into game five. Yeah. But he also has the opportunity to end it right here, right now. Game four, Eon versus Light, Battle of the Foxes. Back SoCal home. Zone versus New England's uh, finest. Yeah, and again, uh, argument for the best Fox right now too. So to drop the Fox to Eon would be a pretty big statement. Uh, I think Light's got to really make an emphasis on coming out swinging this match like he's doing. Yeah, he's got to. He's definitely got to clean up this game and then start thinking about game five. But it's always one game at a time when you're trying to make a comeback. Start with game four. Game five might take care of itself if he gets some momentum. Definitely, and uh, momentum is uh, the, his his middle name, dude. He's one of the guys that once he gets a hit and once he starts feeling himself, he just goes goes crazy. Yeah, don't let him get heated up. Eon, it's gonna be a little bit of trouble. Uh, he teched in place. He was looking for a tech roll in, didn't quite get it, but he's got him off stage. And you can see he's not feeling as confident with punishing the Firefoxes. He was going into shield on the ledge instead of the down smash. Yeah, I think that's also due to how Eon's been mixing up his recovery as well. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, hit him with a couple of the go past the ledges. And Eon, uh, despite falling behind on the first stock, is able to sneak out and take it. And he's looking at starting, uh, you know, coming through and taking it outright in game four. Yeah, this is uh, really strong for Eon. No shield poke here. Again, he's just facing really safely. This is something I, I always notice from Eon's play, but does catch that uh, overstitch in there. But uh, yeah, Eon's one of the fighters I know that's really good at like, the hit and run style. He has a strong punish game, but he doesn't force it. He'll just wait for you to make a mistake, play really patiently and like in neutral. Yeah, let the game kind of come to him yeah. more so than uh, forcing the issue too much. But on the other hand, Light doing such a good job. Despite falling behind, he's battled it right back to even. Definitely. Oh, there it is. He's been trying to get the timing on that illusion, just finally getting it with the up tilt. And he's built himself a little bit of a lead. Wow, got the really late hit of Nair on the backside. 
an interesting jab on the platform. Caught Light by a little bit surprised. And there's going. And I'm just waiting. Like, one of these landing there is going to be oh. the hit. Good DI on Light's part to survive. Uh, I think they're both now in out smash range. They're both just trying to get the hit confirmed into the up smash. That was interesting. That down air, it clipped the, like the last the last hit. You didn't really go anywhere instead of the quick you know, pop out that we're yeah. used to. Yeah, I believe the down has been adjusted in this game, so it's not as uh, easy to yeah. get the, the combo from it. But good stuff to light like, take that stock and see if he can rack up the percent and really build on his lead. Nice multi hit there's going to get past the parry window from Eon. I, really, I think he should uh, try to mix up his uh, landing aerials with like down air because we saw Eon was able to get like the parry on back air and just get the up smash. Right. Yeah, as soon as your opponent gets that parry timing, it's a whole lot of things that oh. were not uh, punishable before end up being punishable with an up smash. Eon one stock away and putting on damage. Uh, but some big combos coming out from Light. He doesn't want to go out without a fight. Nice. He's in the back air, clenched the illusion here to see if Eon can capitalize. Again, he's just trying to punish these landings. He's doing a really consistent double parry. Eon looking really smooth here. Oh, runs up against the grab. It's a slight shine stall, too. Yeah, just enough to throw off Light's uh, attempt to follow him up with an up air. Oh, there it is again. Nice. And Coach Strides with the call. He said, mix up your landing option with the down air. Get past that parry from Light. And he picks it up right there and follows it up with a nuts match to take yeah. the game. Yeah, I like the down air again because you saw how good Eon was getting the parries on the landing aerials. Just mixing up with the down air, get past the parry, and then even get the tech chase up smash, too. Right. Really good read and a clutch play from Light to stay in this. Set. Yeah. We're coming into game five. Who do you got? It's even. Both these players, they Back definitely, they're, they're working on it. It's, of course, they'd go to game five between these two. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was definitely expecting it. But uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a complete Fox Ditto. So right. I'm glad, I'm glad he stuck with Fox, though. Really Although cool. it still could change now. It's, uh, you know, it's. It's always hard. Your, your, your bracket's on the line, and you want to throw your best out. And I know Eon's been sticking with Fox. Let's see if he sticks with it again. There it is. It's locked in. Of course, we know Light, what he's going, pretty much decided before he got to the venue. No yeah. problem. <laughs> I've never seen Light play <laughs> anyone other than Fox. <laughs> and I, I feel like he shouldn't, dude. Fox fits his play style so well. But here we go. Game five on Kalos here. Eon's counter pick. Uh, let's see. I feel like this stage really benefits the way that Eon likes to play. Mm -hmm. uh, the base stage is like really long, so he can play like that hit and run style that he likes to play. And then mm -hmm. if he does get the platforms on the side, he can extend his combos as well. Of course, Light can also you know benefit from that. So it's really going to come down to who can play uh, more on point right now. Right now, though, Eon, tons of pressure at the ledge. Stalls with the wall jump. Really good stuff there from Light. But, oh, positions around the illusion. Really good punish there. Near up smash. Eon taking the first stock. Yeah, it looked like Light just was out of the game the whole entire time, that first stock, off stage, and then being comboed across into the Nair confirm. And he's in a little bit of trouble. He was here before where his back is against the wall and he answered, but this time Aeon's able to survive. Yeah, that was a crucial DI on that up smash. Right. But now he can keep playing the hit and run game that he's been doing so well at. Yeah, if Aeon's able to tack on some damage, it's, you know, that's kind of a disaster overall, and it, it's starting to oh, happen. Cool. Great tech chase, catches the second place with the jab, keeping him back at the ledge. Yeah, I really like what he's doing here. He's getting a little hits he can, and then he just retreats right back to see if, uh, what Light's going to approach with. Yeah, he's definitely playing the game such that Light's going to have to really make a play in order to end the stock. Right. There it is. That was a big play by Light. Yeah, great anti -air. Yeah, just kind of faded in and out on that on that uh, spacing and got the up smash. But Eon going right back to work. Oh, catches the neutral get up. Great movement there from Eon to bait out that. And uh, now we have a really strong lead from Eon. He's not going to really make it easy for Light to get the comeback, I feel. Yeah. Got upset alert coming on. One stock away. Eon about to close out a five-game classic. It's just, oh. is he able to get back on stage? Light wanted to keep him off. And he battled right back. He's going right back to that hit and run, fading in and out. Oh, big damage coming out from Fox. That up tilt vortex is oh, happening. Tech chase here. Oh, Eon just held him back again. Light's trying to make something happen here, but does get the up tilt. No, right back off the stage with the back air. He's going to have to get a wall jump here. So his left shot. No, he just gives us caught too. 
Yeah, Eon's red alert here. It's going to be a little bit of trouble. He's got to come up with not one big play, but a few of them in order to bring this back. Of yeah. course, Eon's looking very comfortable. There's there big play is. number one. Now, if there's anyone that can do this, <laughs> it's, it's light. <laughs> it's light. I would never sleep on him in this type of situation. And that's our Looking big, at these oh my combos. god. Big damage and parries the landing there. Eon might be seeing the the fear coming in from Light, bringing it all the way back. Calls out the ledge jump. Oh, super deep, fades back to avoid the back air. And just enough, to, enough space to recover. And Light has already brought this back and he now has the lead. Oh. Playing so confidently like a man possessed. Oh my goodness, he got the grazing hit of the landing there. Yeah, the sparks are flying. Let's see what Eon's able to do. He's just floating the back airs. Light recovers back to the platform, and he's back on stage. Nice. He's going to blink first. Man, they're within fractions of a percent of each other. So much pressure, and he calls out the jump, and that's going to do it. The big comeback from Light all the way back from 100% on this last dog, just applying so much pressure, saying, I'm not going 